Hi everyone, this is Lillian Mutambo. Uh, thanks for tuning on to my live stream. I know a lot of you have missed me. <laughs> I have been ever so busy. Let me clean my screen with some tissue. Call everybody because we need to talk. We really need to talk. Uh, when I use my normal page, it's because I just want to talk to you as my brothers and sisters. I only use my um, Monali constituency page because of, uh, you know, that's my thing. So, yeah, I'm cleaning the screen. How are you? Uh, for those of you who don't believe, this is a Vatra. I am not advertising Vatra, but it's to show you that I've been in Zambia. Zambia is so hot. Um, I know some of you are just meeting me for the first time. Share this video. Uh, there's a lot that we're going to talk about. Um, reason being that I want you to understand why I shared the post on um, the issue of the, the oil. Um, I'm going to introduce myself because I know a lot of people have just known me. So I want you to know me. My name is Lilian Motambo. Um, many people know me as Lila Motams, Gelo Wapa Z. Uh, I am a YouTuber, content creator, a vlogger, the highest, the highest paid Zambian YouTuber. The one who gets a check of more than 50,000 kwacha per month for sharing videos. Nami. The one that has initiated all the young ones to be YouTubers without using any juju or oil. Nami. And I recently hit 100,000 subscribers. And I use my mobile phone. And the reason why I shared that story is not to talk about any celebrity and say, whoa, this celebrity, that's why they have a car. Uh -uh. If you know me well, you know me personally, you know I'm a person who has no jealousy. I'm a person who sees somebody succeed and I am happy. I like to see people succeed. By the way, I sound Nigerian because I've been surrounded by Nigerians all my life, over 16 years in Britain. Um, or Ghanaian. I'm one person that wants to see you succeed. That's me. And I'm not one person that will see you suffer and I'll be happy and say, hey, bale chula, bale chula, bale chula. Uh -uh, not me. For me, I want to see you succeed the rightful way. Mutale Mwanza shared a Ford Ranger. Many of you, you are shocking me because you are there saying, some people say, who oh, people are jealous. On her page, they appreciate Mutale Mwanza. On other pages, hey, this is Chulifiata Ali's car. This is Chulifiata Ali's car. This is, ah, ah, ah. I say, okay. On another page, they share Mutale Mwanza's Range Rover. We don't even know where she's getting the money from. We don't even know where she's getting the money from. I say, okay. For me, who's been surrounded by West Africans, it's nothing new to see somebody buy a car. My brother-in-law, maybe in case you don't know, my brother-in-law, Honorable Kaoma, those of you, you know that guy. How many Range Rovers does a guy have? How many cars does a guy have? So many. Why would I then be jealous of another sister driving a car? A few months ago, I came on my platform and I said, it's something that is happening in Dubai. People ignored. I came to warn people to say, look, do not admire what you see on Instagram because this story was trending in Nigeria because most of my network is among Nigerians. I became viral among Nigerian communities. That is why my foundation of my YouTube channel started in Nigeria. When I talked about Nigerian men, it was a reaction. And we heard of this lady. Her images and everything were shared on, on YouTube, on, on one of my friend's YouTube channels. And this person stated that Nigerian women, you won't believe what they are doing. They are going to eat poo in Dubai. Ah! It hurt me. Wow. Sir, you hear me say terminology is Ghanaian way. It hit me, cry, cry, say, ah, ah, addict. How can you be that desperate to go and eat poo? Because you want to shine on Instagram. Because you want people to look at you and you say you're looking good. Because you're 
are seeing celebrities looking good. You too, you want to shine on Instagram. So you want to eat feces. I was so hurt that day. I came, I shared. A few people took it seriously. And there was a lady from Malawi who went viral. That is when people saw, ah, ah. You mean people eat feces? So yeah. There, there was a video of a Malawi that went viral. Now, here is my message. For those of you who think maybe I'm just there posting, I'm not happy about this. Me and Mutale Mwanza, we come a long way. That lady is my baby sister. If you know how many times I've been asking her to be a YouTuber. I said, Mutale, take this to YouTube. You are famous. Go and ask her. I want you to be, look, I want you, me, I want her to be like the Rita Dominics and the whatever on YouTube. I said, you come on YouTube. I said, yes, Leland, I will. I said, even the Tuvange show you are doing now, take it to YouTube. Ask Mutale Mwanza if you know Mutale Mwanza. Mutale Mwanza is someone I call my sister-in-law because I knew her that way. I talked to her. She's a sister. Alice Musukwa, she's a sister. My worry is for you that we'll see Mutale Mwanza driving a car and you'll hear that there is over here. You'll go and collect. That is my message. You that will see Mutale Mwanza is driving a Range Rover. Ha! Huh? How did she acquire it? Excuse me, let me break this down for you. In Zambia, for those of you who mwaba shibomba, mwaba lofwa, if you have a job, even if it's two five a month, as long as you have a salary and a pay slip, you can go to the bank to get a loan of 400,000 kwacha. So are you telling me Mutale Mwanza can buy herself a car using her, her pay slip and get a loan and assure them that every month should be paying a thousand kwacha? There is also auctioning in South Africa. Did you know that? Where people can buy cars on auction. Those Ford Rangers, they are there on auction in South Africa. Problem, Tamwenda, Wena Zambia. You don't travel. And because you don't travel, you see someone, hey, the whole internet go gaga. Nigerians give each other Maros Royce as presents. We saw Oscar Chavula. People didn't celebrate him. Me, I celebrated him on my YouTube channel. I celebrated him on my YouTube channel. It's there. I said, Oscar Chavula has given difficulty a car. This is friendship. If I was jealous, why would I share Oscar Chavula she, she, uh, giving someone a car? My worry is you. That will see Mutale Mwanza driving Range Rover. And you hear there is a woman who is giving all. You will go and collect. So the message is not. Mutale Mwanza is collecting all. This, uh -uh. The message is. Ulo Mkumbwa. Bakashana. Is what is leading you to search for ways and means of how you can be shining as well on Instagram. Your time will come. God tells us even in the Bible that there is time for everything. How many years has Mutale Mwanza worked for radio station? How many years? Is it today she started? For somebody to create themselves into a brand, into an image. Lulu Hangala, she was worked hard. These are girls that can just go come and say, look, as we want to do an event, Vatra will sponsor them. How much will Vatra pay? Because they are what you call influencers. How does one become an influencer? I shared, for those of you who are just knowing me now, I'll say it again. I say this, people will never invest in you. That's my quotation. If you don't invest in yourself. Mutale Mwanza has built an image for herself. Alice has built an image. Lulu Hangal, all the other celebrities, they have built images for themselves. Do we know the brand endorsements they have? The last time I saw Slab D in a Range Rover store, do we know what deal he was signing with Range Rover? There's higher purchase. You can pay slowly. I have a friend who's a manager in Range Rover 
And Range Rover is in Monali constituency, by the way. And I told her, as soon as I'm a member of parliament, I'm going to go and come and collect my Range Rover. Right now, my focus is different. Cars, my second hands, bre bre. Bre bre. Means plenty. You just go and collect $2,000. What, what, what dollar? Pay, pay slow and ship your car wherever. So when I share that post, is to just tell you, when I was reading, I was listening to the audio, I said, uh-uh, even the lady in the audio, she specifically said, she specifically said that I'm not saying that these girls, that's what they do, no. But the fact that this person had bought a car prompted this discussion. To say, ah, do you know that there's women who are even doing this? And true, true, when I shared the post on my page, I saw comments from people tagging. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that 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 um, that that lady existed. For me, I can't go on my uh, YouTube channel and do a video. It's like the story of the married man, the one who was marrying the other the lady. He was having two weddings. Whilst people were rushing, hey, 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 hey. me, I never rushed. I waited for the story until he spoke and everything. And then I said, oh, this is what happens. Can you believe? And my video is the highest watched video on YouTube. Over 40,000 views. People don't like half-baked stories. They like full-baked stories. They want to understand what's going on. Hey, there's a woman who stormed it. Okay, and then what? We were all left in suspense. We were all left in suspense. So, for me, I wanted, I come on my YouTube, play, Facebook page to post stories, uh, for me, it was very concerning because this person said this woman is selling all these things and people are being initiated into Satanism. And, 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 and that got me. It got me. Because a lot of young people are desperate. They want to shine on social media. They want to look beautiful. They look up to so many icon celebrities who are living luxurious lives. Do you know I don't go to Instagram for Nigerians? I don't. Nigerians can break your hearts. The way they flaunt money on Instagram. There's this guy, Hash Puppy. Hash Puppy would flaunt wealth. And, and, and I just unfollowed him. I said, what's this? Hash Puppy would be eating with a Gucci, in a Gucci, uh, whatever, apartment, eating. Go and buy Versace, Gucci. They call him Mr. Gucci. <laughs> what happened? 419. And I said, yes. I knew. <laughs> this guy was a fraudster. If you go to Hash Puppy's Instagram, you will cry. You will think you are not leaving. Hash Puppy would post Gucci head to toe. He would go and shop Gucci in a whole store, Gucci bags. Not those bags that we even see our celebrities posting two bags. Uh-uh. 20 bags of Gucci. And he would go and he would even hire a private jet. Private jet to fly to other places. Hash Puppy will go to a Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce when you're going to buy the, 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 the store. Not, not my second hand you, we are celebrating on social media. It's good achievements, yes. I'm talking about, I'm talking about cars. Rolls Royce. Drinking champagne first before your car is given to you. Hash Puppy. Nobody can pass Hash Puppy, not even Davido. What happened to Hash Puppy? Hash Puppy is in prison today. Olong Kumbwa. Olong Mune Kumbwa Fintu. You don't even know the source of their mouth. Hash Puppy was a fraudster. It took him one mistake. And his secrets were out. Arrested by the FBI. It's not a joke. They have tried. Hash Puppy was, will be out. Bell, 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 unka. How many people followed Hash Puppy? I just unfollowed him. I said, this is too much. Even if you are in a private jet, you are showing people, I'm eating fruits. I mean, what happened to Hash Puppy? Trying to show Instagram. Trying to show people that you are successful. Hash Puppy was a thief. As far as I'm concerned, he's a murderer. Because somebody who can go and steal money from the U.S. government, you are worse than a murderer because you are stealing COVID-19 money.
That man was supposed to, he managed to decipher that man and the money came to his account. About $15 million. Hush puppy. Elmale Kumbwa. So, the next person was another Nigerian girl. This Nigerian girl would show, oh guys, I'm building my house. People started looking at the place. And, ah, this is this Oga in Nigeria, the Nigerian who lives in China, the owner of this house. They sent him pictures. They warned her, stop posing on my house. She carried on. She now asked the gate man, please, can I enter inside and show people my success? And wrote a very touching testimony. Oh, a year ago, my husband left me. Now I've built this house. God is so good. The house was not even hers. Olong Kumbwa. You are admiring things. She went to that level of trying to prove to society that she has reached a certain stage in her life. And yet the house did not even belong to her. That's what happened to that lady and she was exposed. So me, I'm worried about you. Me, I'm exposed to the Nigerian world. I travel to Nigeria every year, by the way. And I've seen the level of desperation. 419, what happened? I said, me, I'm, me if I was desperate to be a millionaire, kale kale I've had Nigerians approach me in 2004 when I was in Britain. Can we use your bank account to receive 100,000 pounds? And I remember my dad, the first day I landed in the UK, he told me, never, ever give your account details to anybody. Fraud mu UK balakaka. And those words, I have kept them like kumutimaso. My dad told me never, ever be involved in fraud. Some will say, no, we'll give you 200,000, you take 10,000. Me, I would rather clean toilets in Britain and make my money clean than go and collect 419 money because I want to shine. This is why I posted that to show you that people are desperate. People are desperate. Trying to show that they are living well. And how do they do it? They are eating feces in Dubai. Amafi. Do you know how the Arabs do it? They hire African women. Not to sleep with them for prostitution. For me, it's even better. They sleep with you for money. They hire you. Give you first when you arrive $10,000. Say go and shop. Put you in a nice hotel. When you stay in that nice hotel. You go shopping, they give you gifts. You go now on a boat cruise. And uh, is it those waiters or whatever who come and call you say, it's time. Do you know where it's time? In the toilet. Open your mouth. Let the Arabs wee in your mouth. Pull in your mouth. Because they have too much money. They want to pull in a black person's mouth. You must be upset. Too much money they want to pull in a black person's mouth. And because black people, we are desperate. We are opening our mouth for an Arab to wear and pull. If you dare spit, they slap you. You must swallow that poo. And those are the girls you admire on Instagram. That are shining for you, flaunting Range Rovers. So when I saw this, I was worried for you. Worried for you that you will go and collect this chain and whatever is called. And now the lady saying, I've advertised her, it's up to you if you go and collect. 775 watcher. You go and buy this oil, put it on your body, attract people. Let's be realistic. Right now, any young man who is 25, even if you're a businessman, you can never give a girlfriend 70,000 watcher. There's a girl who posted a testimony to say, I was given 70,000 kwacha, but I've just released some because I've left the rest in the bank. It can only be a married man. Let's be realistic. HIV in come. HIV in come. You know the fear. Pa. You don't fear that there's even HIV. 
There's no way somebody will give you 100,000 kwacha and sleep with you without a condom. Let's be realistic. Who will give you 100,000 kwacha and say, it's okay, you can put a plastic bag? Who? There are people out there as well who've been infected wrongly, or let me just say, through a careless person, and they also want to add it to another person. I was watching a documentary, Mule Tamba YouTube, guys. Mule Tamba YouTube. A Kenyan woman who has deliberately infected more than 30, she said 100 men. She would just go to the bar, attract men. So even to you men, also, be careful. Go some will go and collect this Jezebel oil to attract you, so they should infect as many as well. And your wives as well will be in, in danger and your families as well. You understand? The Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death. And that's why you need to be content with what you have. Because if you're not content with what you have, you'll be desiring for the things of the world. And as you desire for the things of the world, what comes in? Sin. Desperation. You will go for any, any, anything in order for you to survive. I've seen this young girl living so good. Oh my God, she's living so well. Even me, I also want to shine. So what do I do? I go, I find that there's a group on Facebook that they are saying women's secrets. Let's join these women. Let's also collect the power. Apply. I'll talk about CR1. People say CR1 is a juju, CR1 is a juju. If C1 shows you his mobile phone now, thank you. <laughs> You'll be shocked. The amount of people that contact C1, they want to uh, do as I say. Oh, they want to do as I say. Zambia oh. Africans. You want things pecha pecha. Fast, fast. You want things fast, fast. Me have worked now as Sungu. Today, people want to say, I have a cotton. They work hard, those people. When they come to Zambia on holiday, they'll be staying in five-star hotel. And they're like, oh, wow, they have money. They don't have money, they save. They plan. So why can't we plan as well? Why can't we also do the same as well? And for me, out of the whole situation, my biggest, my biggest crime is to the African government leadership. To look after the youth of Africa. Because if our African youths are looked after, this level of desperation will never be there. In Nigeria, we have what you call 419, fraudsters that swindle people money. And they, they blame it on the white people they used to collect money from us. They collected our... Uh -uh. It's laziness. People want to become rich now, 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 now. There is pressure on the internet. We see Alice Musuka shopping Versace in uh, America, Miami. You also want to shop fast, 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 fast. Your time will come. I'll give you a testimony of a girl because some of you are new on my platform. I'll give you a testimony of a young lady who was a university student. Not testimony at the third hand. She spoke herself. At Unza. Her family where she was staying were treating her badly. She decided to get herself a ka job in a restaurant. Saving as a waiter, waitress. Helping people. Helping people. Saving. Calmly, diligently. She didn't say, I am a graduate. I am going to be a university graduate. Why should I say? She kept on going every time. And one day, a certain man asked her, in Zambia, a certain man asked her, uh, what do you do? I think I like you. The lady now thought, maybe this man wants to go out with her. She was hesitant. He said, no, here's my business card. Give me a call. They met up. She told him I was an accountant in training. I was about to graduate, blah, blah, blah. And the man said, I just liked your, your character. I am giving you a job in Zambia without applying. That's how this girl was given a job with a brand new car. You don't understand the God we serve. You limit this God out of your desperation. You go and collect some power. You are shortening your lifespan. You are shortening the blessings of God because you don't understand how God is able to open doors even in the worst situations. The God we serve. She was serving on a table. Serving food. 
servant. She went to work there. Out of there, her blessing came. Look for a job. You never know where you get um, that job. Jeannie, I said, I don't remember her course, but she had done accounts and she was advancing at Unza. I don't know what course she was doing. And the lady got a job. When she got that job, people were mocking her family. Where are they? Another girl would have apply uh, the oil to attract men. So they should be giving me money. I'm at Unza. She decided, I'm going to get a job. That's how she, she was studying. I don't know whether it's economics. I just said whatever course. But I was there in church as she testified. And the job was for her. Even when she graduates at Unza, it was for her. She was given a car. I saw the car at my mom's. If you think it's a lie, go to Grace Ministries Mission Center, Chamba Valley. Go and ask about this testimony. It's there. The girl testified. I saw her with my two eyes. That's my mother's church. That's why I normally go. And this is what happened to this girl. As you are desperate, you see someone saying they are selling all. You go and pay for the all. You initiate yourself in some form of satanism because you are desperate. You want to shine on Instagram. That you are going to be on this earth. God's hand is not too short. God's hand is there for you. Some of you, you've never heard my testimony, you are new, but I will tell you this. When people in the UK, I'll say it, Muchinyanja mixed. They were paying people money. Some people were marrying, you know, just for them to survive. And for me, I said, I will never, never be desperate for papers in UK. And when my time came, some of you will say, what, 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 what? Oh, you, you don't understand the level of papers in UK or wherever. <laughs> people who live in the diaspora will tell you how people are desperate. People go to churches. We go to fast for papers. Fasting. So if you want to know God, go and live abroad. You will know God. You will know how to pray. Because the challenges you, you don't know whether it's from your mother's side or your father's side, it has been sent to attack you, to frustrate you, so that you should leave the place and come back with nothing. And I say, I will never, I will never take myself, I will never, when people were paying thousands of pounds, I got it for free. That is the God we serve. In it, it was even immigration, that said, ah, do you know you qualify for this? When immigration should be telling you to go back. Social workers. Ah, do you know that you, you qualify for a house? Do you know? They're the ones who are telling me you qualify for this, you qualify for this. And I got my papers clean without paying. The second time when I was trying to renew, I was supposed to pay 8,700 pounds. Clean. I never paid a penny. Because I've never limited God. I said, God, you are the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. For as long as you have brought me in this land, I went to university in the UK for free. When I was supposed to pay 8,700 pounds, I said, God, I'm not going to go back to Zambia without a degree or a master's. And when I go back to Zambia, I want to serve the people of Zambia. And do you know what God did in my life? He brought a scholarship which doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Ask anybody. I called the university. I said I was trying to apply for 1,500 bursary. They told me they had given it to somebody else. I said, okay, let me call the organization. I called Helena Kennedy Foundation. I said, Helena Kennedy Foundation, I am applying for 1,500. How can you deny me? I'm a single mother. Why did you deny me this? And Helena Kennedy Foundation said, actually, when we came across your application, we decided to pioneer. <laughs> you don't know the God we have. We decided to pioneer a project. And this project will enable you to study at the University of Winchester for free. I became the first 
African woman, the first Zambian to study on that scholarship for free. And they told me, we're going to waive off your fees. Just send your application. When I cut the phone down, I said, Olua, Olua, you never sleep no slumber. Olua has done it for me. I'm talking about a situation where you have no purpose, where you need to come back to Zambia and you don't even know you're left or right. You have children and you're thinking, if I go back to Zambia, what do people say? And I said, God, I will do a course that I will use to support the people of Zambia. And I chose social work. Not for me to work for my people. I would have chosen nursing, pharmacy, accounting, banking, and finance to work that side. But I wanted to serve my people. And when I started, the first day when I went for my interview, I was told, uh, we just wanted to meet you. I've gone for a scholarship interview. Said, we just wanted to meet you. We just wanted to know that truly you exist. I said, yes, I exist. And they told me they'll send me a letter. And when the letter came, <laughs> the letter came with 8,700 fees waived off. I never paid a penny. I did not marry Umusungu in order for me to survive in Britain. I did not marry Umusungu Mukote to show people that now I'm in UK and Arifika. Therefore, I no not send them a paper. Uh -uh. I said, God, I will never be desperate. You brought me to this land. And when the letter came, I went the first day to enroll at University of Winchester. That was the first and last time I saw the finance department. I don't even know how it feels to pay fees in Zambia, in, in, in the UK. I don't even know how it feels. 8,700. They just stamped on my, on my letter, finance checked. And every year I would receive more than a thousand pounds for transport, child care. I received more than 3,000 grants from the university to support my rent. The God we serve. If you continue to limit God, you continue to, 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 to live a, a life where you want to see your friend is doing well, you go and collect. Then at least I'll be able to survive. It is up to you. If I can go to university, in the UK and the British government says we are going to give Lillian Mutambo this scholarship and she will never pay a penny. It means the same God that did it for me can do it for you. But you don't have faith. You limit God. That is why I shared that message. Is to tell you that fiance fi fomole mona malu waya chalo fi kashala. Focus on serving God. This is not a story at Ndemishin Cafe. There's a lady, she's in the UK now. I think even in Ireland now. She had five children. Different men. She was cleaning the church in Zambia. Serving diligently. A man came from the UK and said, I'm looking for a wife. Of all the women in the church, and you know there is divas in the church. He went for that woman. As we speak now, that woman is a nurse, qualified nurse in Britain. I heard they had even moved to Ireland. Why? Because she looked up to God. My mistakes are not mistakes to you, Jehovah. What I have done in my past does not define my future. And a man came, not a Bakote, a young man, married her. They've even added more children. Do you know what happened? When the lady, the firstborn was getting married, she was getting married to a Ghanaian guy. The man was the father to the daughter. He took this child all the way to Ghana and walked her down the aisle. You don't understand the grace of God. That is why I cry for you, Africa. Because you are desperate. Because you see people are living luxurious. And you are admiring their lifestyles. And you go and collect any power from any deity. You collect anointing oil. You collect this and that. You are shortening your destiny. Because Olua, when he saw you being born on this earth, he said, I will take.
take care of you. I'll look after you. But because you see situations are not going well, even the same government we have now, I don't care if people say a dada is like this, but God can touch a dada today to bless your life. That is the God we serve. I don't care. Whether they say Alungu, he's not helping the youth. We saw that young girl, Mercy. When Mercy was drawing images, she was drawing Kukitu Oko, and she received a phone call from President Lungu. That is how God works. He can touch even somebody. They say, oh, yeah, President Lungu called Mercy all the way in Kitwe. That is how God works. When God wants to bless you, he uses man. When God wants to open doors in your life, he uses people. I see people insulting people on social media. And I say, you don't know the blessings. I don't know how you are blocking yourselves by insulting people. Social media is also a platform of blessings. Don't insult people. Because you have too much bundles, you can insult people. You are blocking your destiny helpers on social media. You don't know somebody who will see your image. And will say, ah, Zira, Zira, can you tell me what do you do? But they come to your page. Zira, I'm not saying Zira has insulted me. She's my daughter. And you expect this person to bless you. Be careful with social media. The devil is using it for people to hate each other. The devil is using it for, for people to have that envy, that desire to destroy people. The desire to damage people's credibility. The desire to just say negative things about people. So that there is hatred left, right and center. Yesterday I shared an image of somebody wishing me dead. Over your, somebody, some people have even said, over your dead body, will you be empty? This is how people are wishing you evil. Don't expose yourself to the plans of the enemy. And one thing I will tell you is, I can joke around with people, why you laugh like that? But when it comes to my spiritual life, I don't joke. I have put Olua first. In everything I do, because he is my author. Whilst others go away, Monali constituency praying the Bible. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Meshach and Abednego, any altars that have been raised in Monali constituency that are there in order to destroy uh, the, the, the wealth of the people, we destroy them. If there's any evil altar that is tying the destiny of the people of Munan, th that is what I do. I, I don't go and see any babalao and say I want to be, that's why when I say I'm going to be in parliament next year, you will come and testify together with me here that I was in, in, in parliament because I put God first. So my cry is not about, no, this celebrity, people send me pictures of some celebrities wearing chains. I said, for me, that doesn't matter. What matters is your soul. Because most of these celebrities, they wear, they even put up, they don't even know what they are doing. They just follow what they see on the internet. They just follow. So for me, what I will say to you is, I am crying for you because I want you to be successful the rightful way. And my cry as well is as a nation of Zambia, let's pray. It doesn't matter what leadership is there. If you like, you don't like them. Let's pray for the current leadership. Then even the next leadership that will come on next year. Because it is not nice that we keep on seeing leadership And my youth number last so that they should survive. And guess what? They are finding themselves in the issues of anointing oil, this, this, this oil. And that's why now the churches now they have made people so gullible, especially in Africa. This is a big problem in the whole Africa. Some are selling anointing water. Some are selling anointing oil. Because people who choose Africa, it, it is paining us. 
the poverty in Africa is too much. For me, when I started going through Manali constituents and I saw the way people are suffering, I said, look, I have projects I need to do. I want to buy this car. I want to do this. I put everything on hold. And I said, it's better. I empower these people. It's better. I support these people. I can buy myself a Range Rover with the money I make on YouTube and even with work. But I put that aside. What is your priority? Your priority should be to serve God. I cry for your soul. I cry for your soul. Because I know you are gullible. I know you are vulnerable. When I see women being trapped in Libya because of poverty in Nigeria, they are looking for opportunities. They now turn into prostitutes. I say, Africa, why? Why? In the UK now, if you are homeless, you don't have any place to stay, the UK government will give you a house. They will give you money. You will get paid. And yet these people don't even have gold like we do. We don't have, they don't have gold. The other day I, I will share an image of emeralds that were being sold on a TV station in the UK. And they said, emeralds from Zambia. There's emeralds. We have natural resources in our, in our countries, in Africa, but the people are suffering. One person from Nigeria will have a whole block of oil and he will, he will build an empire for him and his family alone. And he'll be flying. There's this man, he's got 40 oil. He flies from Nigeria to Paris just to eat ice cream. Whilst if you go to Nigeria, you will never respect Nigerians on Instagram. You will never. The poverty I saw in Nigeria, I wept. Kuzambia to Awamako. I'm telling you. Kuzambia to Awamako. I'm telling you this. I've said this before and I'll say it again. The, I used to wonder why my Nigerians, they, the, if you go to Nigeria, any Nigerian will meet will say, all I want is to go abroad. No Nigerian has a vision to stay in that country. The poverty is real. In Zambia, you can even go to your neighbor and ask for salt. In Nigeria, you can't. In Zambia, you can go and ask for cooking oil. I'm telling you, if only you knew how comfortable we are in Zambia and other African countries, you'd be shocked. That is why you find that Italy, they are going, store, store away. People call it store away. People are going via boat, going to Italy. Next thing, they are queuing up. But the place has oil and you'll be admiring. There's a Nigerian billionaire. I don't admire. Because a billionaire should look after the people. And that's why we have billion, not billionaires in, 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 in Kwacha, in dollars. They should be looking after the people. See the protests that Nigerians had. They found big warehouses of food. Palliatives for COVID-19 to say, oh, during this period of COVID-19, people can eat this food. They didn't care to give the people of Nigeria. They didn't care at all. We have to be grateful, my people. So my message to you is do not be desperate when you see somebody is successful. Ulungkumba lubi. Looking at people, you know, successful, yes, congratulate them. Celebrate them, it's good. Yeah, but don't go to the level of because you've heard. Because some of these people who sell these things will lie. They'll say, do you know that that celebrity, it's me who gives them. Because they want you to join. So they'll tell you that celebrity collects it from me. And I don't think celebrities, Abakwatamano, will go to somebody that they know this person. I don't think so. But those people are trying to sell their business. So they will tell you, that celebrity, can't you see? This and that and that. And yet when you find out behind the story of how people are acquiring cars, they are buying things for themselves. They are buying their, themselves gifts. Because they work hard. You take your pay slip. When you take your pay slip, go bank. The bank can give you 400,000 kwacha. And you can deposit on a car. And start paying slowly. They're paying the bank and guy one pin every every month. You understand? Let's pray for our continent, Africa. 
because I, I am, I, 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 I am so much in pain when I see what is going on. The same God that opened doors in my life, the same God that was able to take me to university without pain, the same God that said, I will give you documents, I fly to Zambia anytime. The same God, that's, that's why when I got my documents, I said, I am using it to save. I should have been in Dubai now, enjoying. I should be in America. But I said, God, the moment you give me the documents, I will use them. I will use them to serve you. That is why I am here in Zambia, live and direct, to serve the people of Zambia. Just set yourself up. Be in a church. Belong to a church. Serve well. Don't expect anything. My sister, my brother, even tomorrow they will see you shining. Let's pray against any family ties, any family hardships, any generational curses. Spend more time in prayer. You will see how Olua will open doors for you. He never sleeps nor slumbers. There's a lady uh, about two years ago. Sometimes when I'm in the mood like that, I pray. I, I posted on Facebook. I said, let's, I'm, I'm looking for people that, you know, I said, I wanted to pray with people. I said, okay, let's pray. This lady said, Lily, I'm struggling. I'm trying to conceive and it's been a challenge. I said, let's pray. And we prayed. As we speak, she's got twins. That was her desire and God met her desire. What is it that you desire so much? Do you want to go to school? Let God raise people that will sponsor you. Do you want to work? Let God raise people that will say, I, I, I think I want to hire you. Do you want to travel abroad? No, 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 no. It's a uh, uh, thing. Somebody saying that, no, it's, it's uh, tissue. Do you want to travel abroad? Yes, God will open. For he knows the desires of your heart. For I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you. If God has plans to prosper you, why are you worried about other people's success? Why are you then looking at other people's success and, and you also want to go and do shortcuts? Be careful. That's all I wanted to say. My encouragement to you is, if you put God first, Denzel Washington, a celebrity actor, he said, look, in everything I do, I put God first. And because I put God first, I have seen him in my life. You see, somebody is being celebrated worldwide. Hey, it's Illuminati, it's Illuminati. Ah, not everybody's in Illuminati. Tyler Perry is a Christian, born again Christian. See how the guy became a billionaire recently. When you do things and walk in the light of God, he exposes, he exposes you to people and people get to know you. When I started my YouTube channel last year, <clears throat> I started with 350 subscribers and I kept on sharing videos on my YouTube channel. I kept on talking about different things. I kept on commenting on real life issues. I remember advising Tonto DK, I would just talk about this, talk about this, you know, talk about different issues. Little did I know that one day I will have an audience of 100,000 subscribers within a year. What is it that you really want to do? I will encourage you to become a YouTuber. Share your talents there. Share your stories there. YouTube is another platform that people can discover you. Don't expect to be sleeping. In your house, I say, ah, if you know, thing, lesser will come through. God will come through. I've got some foreign people that are watching, so I'll say it in English. God will come through because you have worked hard. In Zambia, we have that adage we say, lesser afa abayafa. God helps those who help themselves. It's just an adage that people made. It's, it's just to say, when you do something, God will add his blessings on top. Do your work 
Focus on your talent. Focus on your on, on, on anything you do, anything you desire to do, and God will open doors for you you never anticipated. Many people have been discovered through YouTube. I get people who support the work I do worldwide. For someone to release 10,000 kwacha, 6,000 kwacha and say, here, collect. It's not because you are beautiful, no. They give you because they, God has touched them. In this time of COVID, when things are a challenge, discover what you can do now. Start going to the streets of Zambia or your country in Africa. Interview people. Share videos with your video. People, somebody will discover, ah, you speak well. Next thing, you are a journalist. You know, don't wait for somebody to, to, be, to be giving you uh, op opportunities that they, will they, they, just come like that. Nobody gave me a TV opportunity. I started YouTube with my phone. I use my mobile phone to shoot videos. And I'm the highest paid Zambian YouTuber. That's my, I pay myself. I get paid through YouTube. You too, you can get paid as well. Uh, you can get paid as well. So thank you so much, everybody that has come on this platform. I just wanted to encourage you. Never limit God. Yes, there's whatever oil, there's this oil, whatever, whatever is being said. Let it pass you like it never exists. Your life journey is personal. Your success does not have a timeline. We all don't need to buy houses at 35 or 30 or 40. I know a young lady who who's built a house at 22, 25. Your timeline is different from any other person's timeline. Live within your means. The moment you decide to live within your means, you will never admire anyone. You will congratulate them and you say, me too, my time will come. I was watching um, some posts. People would say, the God of MMM, me too, I want, locate me. That's what you desire. But what if God is planning a Rolls Royce for you than a Range Rover that you're admiring? What if God is, uh, is arranging a Maserati for you instead of the Range Rover you are admiring? So don't limit God. Just focus on yourself. Be you. Pray every morning when you wake up. Say to your dreams, this is what I want to be. This is who I want to become. Speak to yourself, for I know who I am. Even as I step out, Father, let people recognize me. Those that have not seen me before, let apply the oil in, of God, not the oil of Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebel, you know, is prostitution. Apply the oil by praying for yourself. Even use your own cooking oil. Buy anointing oil or whatever. They say olive oil. Olive oil. Rub it on your hands. Pray for yourself. I say, Father, as I leave this place, I anoint my hands. I anoint my feet. Everywhere where I step, dear heavenly, use the Bible. Dear heavenly Father, I pray that my feet, wherever they will step on, I possess the land. And God will bring blessings in your life. I possess the land. As I'm going for this job interview, it may be a challenge, but I'm saying, Father, be the one that will help me to speak. I may not be the most intelligent person during this exam. Heavenly Father, help me to remember what I was studying. And God will be there for you. Never limit God. So thank you so much. All I will say to you is, if you ever want to be successful, put God first. And my last word for you is, there's a lady from Zimbabwe that never expected to go to university. And I took her to House of Lords where I went to receive my, my award, which is Parliament in the UK. And I remember stepping in Parliament in the UK and I said, as long as I've stepped in Parliament in, in the UK, I'll be in Parliament in, in Zambia. And I took her for my, 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 my reward. And through my reward, I introduced her to the people who give the reward and I said, uh, please, can you consider my friend? Uh, this is someone I just met in the UK. This is someone who's not my family. And I said, please look at her. When this girl graduated, she called me. She said, Lily, if not you, I wouldn't have known what graduation is. If not you, I would have never studied in a UK university. 
if I can do that for a Zimbabwe, what about you, my sister, a Zambian? What about you, my brother, a Zambian? And that's why me, I'm not putting myself forth in parliament to come and show you how parliamentarians drive Range Rover. Uh -uh. I am coming to solve your problems. I don't care whether you are not from Manali or not. I will be there as a sister. Let's see how we can help you to go to school. Let's see how we can help your family. Why? Because God does not put people in position in order for them to be rich and to show off. No. He puts people there in order for them to be a blessing in your life. When you are electing people, you are the people who vote for these people. You vote for them to do what? To show you how they drive Range Rover. No. You vote for them to work. So when you vote for me, you are voting for me to serve you the whole Zambia. And my, my role as a politician is not ending as an MP. God will elevate me to the level whereby, if it means me be, being vice president of Zambia one day and president, I will be. And I said it on this live stream. I rarely share this. But I remember when Dr. Chibesakunda told me in 20. Zero two that God had prepared me for leader. I said, Ah, this man, I was never, I didn't even know what politics was. You, I never even liked newspapers. I don't, I never liked current affairs. I never liked anything. But at God's own appointed time, He brought me to that level where I started being interested in the current affairs. And then I realized my people are suffering. I said, God started saying, That's why you studied social work. Remember your promise. Remember your promise to the people of Zambia. So, if I want to buy a car, what, 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 luxury, I can do. Yesterday, I posted that I will go and look for the uh, prawns, shrimps for $400. I can afford it. I can go and eat $400 shrimp. But instead of me eating $400 shrimp, I would rather empower two groups of communities in Monali constituency. You understand me? Using my personal money. I have no sponsor. I sponsor myself. So thank you so much. For those of you who are encouraged, share this video. I am your sister, your friend. I know there's so many requests from all over. People want me to help them financially. A time will come where you'll be coming to my office and we'll look at your problem. It doesn't matter. You'll be leaving your MP area. Come to my office and we say, let's see how we can help you. My office will be open to everybody, not just you, Munali people, everybody, because I want to serve the people of Zambia. That's my thing. So anybody who is touched, or oh, Henry Mutambo, same surname, thank you so much. He says he's very encouraging. All of you who've commented, I am also blessed. I have been invited to go to an SDA event where they are launching a, a building work. I, I, I'm a special guest at the wedding. I'm like, okay, you know, uh, that's how God has elevated me. I'm only 36 years, but people see me as their leader. You know, forget Facebook. When people insult you on Facebook, they say all sorts of things. I, I laugh. That's why, you know, Facebook people can have whatever opinions. But if you come on ground, you see how people respect me, you know that I was born to be a leader. And uh, God has been awesome. He's been faithful. I thank him for journey masses. I thank him for the people in the UK who are helping me with the children or whatever. I thank God for everything that has happened in my life because I know he has appointed this time for me to serve you. So please be patient if I don't come to your request. People are saying, I don't reply, I don't reply. Uh, it's not because I, it's because I can't see your messages unless we are friends. And when I say we are friends, you, are, you have to request and then I have to see it in the request messages. Uh, don't take it personal if I don't reply. Um, I've shared my numbers on, 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 on social media before because I want to be open to you guys. Uh, the numbers are on my pages. You can check out the numbers. Uh, call me, but don't call me at 24 hours. Uh -uh. Don't call me at 01. Go, don't call me at 05. Call me. Call me at uh, uh, you know good time. Um, Lizzie Talmon, I'll, I'll, I'll invite her one of these days on my platform. Lizzie Talmon worked as a maid. A nanny. A maid in Tanzania. As she was working as a maid in Tanzania, she met her husband. Right now, she lives in Germany and she's a breadwinner of the family. She has built houses in, in, in Zambia. She's building an orphanage with her husband. She's got three babies, 
she's got a set of twins one set of twins and a boy and she's having another one coming on the way because she she looked up to god and she has another testimony where god healed her of, of hiv as well so she'll share that testimony one of these days on my platform um my youtube channel has always been a platform to encourage people same as my facebook be careful let's be wary let's not be desperate uh, for power when we hear there's this prophet we are running we hear this prophet we are running we hear this pastor we are running uh, because of the level of desperation we hear there's one oil we are running let's not be desperate call on olua and god will open doors in your life thanks for tuning in and i am so blessed uh, to have all of you on board uh, watching and tuning onto my live stream Lilian Mutambo, Lilian Mutams, Gelo Wapa Z, Umu Anakashi Wapa Zambia, a proud Zambian. I carry the heritage of Zambia. Many people have gotten to know of Zambia through my YouTube channel because I've been sharing a lot of content about Zambia. Take care. I gotta go now. I've got lots of engagements and probably I'll do some live streams and share some pictures as well of me at those venues. But I thought let's talk about these things it's important that you my people get to know and be aware uh yes we've advertised the young lady she's selling all these things but be careful simon Mwawa yesterday this is not a vat advert simon Mwawa yesterday he got upset he said lily and you know people don't understand each time i comment on simon Mwawa's page he's a very close friend of mine we talk a lot like on phone he's been like a brother to me for many 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 years uh, and I'm having dinner with him on Monday as well at the Indian restaurant. He didn't know I was around. I didn't tell him. I, I was like, dude, I'm around. What? I'm putting you on the list. You know, he was very upset. He said, what? This, uh, oh, no, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to post about the Jezebel spirit. And then, you know, you posted about it. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. And people are like, why are you commenting on Simon Mwawa? Simon Mwawa, Mao Sampa is another amazing um, brother of mine. Um, people have been coming to me with certain requests. And I'm like, oh, uh, Lusaka Mayor, this one I can't handle. Handle this one. And I'm so happy he's handling some of the cases. And people are being blessed through his platform. Uh, there are certain things. Me, I'm in opposition. Uh, I can't raise 15000 for somebody. But for him, at least he's in current government. It's easy for him to raise. You know, these are people. So when I comment on their platforms, it's because they are my brothers. That's why I comment on their platform. We have a, a, a friendship behind uh, social media whilst people just know them on facebook me i know them personally you know millie beauty somebody i talk to every she even called me to she, somebody that calls me we talk uh we share the same pastor i mean we talk to one pastor we, you know we pray together some of the times and even when she's making mistakes i tell her off i said millie no 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 now sit your, your ass down. I tell her off like that. I'm that type of a person that tells me off. She, that's why even when I go on a platform, the moment she sees that I'm watching, she'll be like, Lily's watching my video. You know, we, we are that close. So I just don't comment on anybody because I want to comment. Remember that apart from social media, these people are also my friends. You know what I mean? I have friends. So if I if I want to comment on their pages, allow me to comment freely. Uh, I'm tired of people saying, you're an aspiring MP. An aspiring MP should behave like you. I'm like, excuse me. Uh, we have the most the worst MPs in, in Zambia right now. Uh, Boman Lusambo. What is Boman Lusambo doing? I mean, he accused B. Flo, uh, Kings Malembe. Those are the MPs we have that just do. And I had a very horrible dream about one of the MPs. But I'm not going to mention his name. I'll probably speak to my pastor about the dream. And then I'll share the dream tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a, a great gift of dreams as well. I dream a lot. Uh, in 2015, I dreamed that HH became the president of uh, Zambia. And that's how come I joined UPND in the UK in 2015. Um, and he called me um, in my dream, he said, hey, Lily. I said, oh, how do you know me? He said, oh, who doesn't know Lily? Lily is huge. It's Zambia. I said, oh, okay. So that's how I I, I, I got to join UPND in 2015. And despite our political affiliations, guys, let's not be enemies. Let's not insult each other. Let's not call mothers, fathers. You know, I, I see people insulting me. I'm like, ah, it's politics. Th that's not politics. That's not po Go to Nigerian pages. Go to other pages. They don't use the swear words that people are using in the name of politics. You understand? We can do politics clean. 
Dr. Never Smumba is in opposition, but I can call him anytime and call him and say, Dr. I love Dr. Never Smumba. Uh, who, who's going to stop me from commenting on his pages? Because I love him. He's like a daddy to me. You know, I talk to him. I've, I've hosted him on my live streams on my YouTube channel. So why, why should I hate him? Because I'm part of UPND, so I, I shouldn't like him. No, he's aspiring for presidency. It's, it's his right. It's part of the, the Zambian constitution for people to aspire. So if I'm aspiring as MP and Barbara Nachula, who's my cousin, by the way, and she doesn't remember. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. And um, Barbara was very young when we met. And I know she doesn't remember. So... Barbara is, is not aspiring. Barbara should not attack me and say, Hey, Barbara, Lily, you, you would never be an MP. Who are you? I mean, come on. You, if you have the qualifications, go and stand as well. Nobody stops you. And, and, and I'm tired of people saying, You'll never be adopted. You'll never be adopted. You're not God. And finally, standing as an MP does not rely on adoption. <laughs> it is my constitutional right to stand as an MP with or without an adoption. So if you're thinking we are going to wait for adoption for us to stand, I don't know which constitution you read, but the Zambian constitution says as long as you're a Zambian citizen and you have 12 people that have voters' cards that go and follow you to go and register and you know file in your nomination, you can stand as an MP. So if you are also courageous, go and stand as an MP. If me standing as an MP is killing you so much, whereby you are, you are irritated, don't follow my page. You know, that's why people, they are also irritated when they see other people driving cars and they think all of us, we are jealous. No. Some of us are happy because we know that it is their time. Our time too will come. In fact, our time is now. But we are sacrificing the money we are supposed to be buying Range Rovers to support people. You see. So, uh, thank you so much for tuning. Thanks uh, to... Mika, you come to my page and say, Avanavo, what's your issue? What are you doing on my page? Useless comments. Um, Landaf Pali oil to the fire. Ah, no, I'm pushing up, push up. We talk about the oil calefe. Ah, Jack Solomon, how does it work? Ah, ah, I've already finished. Vatra, like that water. Yes. This is not a Vatra advert, by the way. Uh, Peter Kacheleka, how are you? Uh, Sarah says, I pray you live longer. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so yeah, she, our friend met her husband. Uh, for those of you who missed out the live stream, start from the beginning, rewind it, start from the beginning, restart it. Be blessed because I was just flowing and God was just, you know, using me to speak to you people. Uh, Henry Mutambo has says, I'm touched by your words and I want to say this to you, my sister, continue with the same spirit. May God continue to bless you and your family in Jesus name. Thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Thank you. You have not arrived. You are going very up a tariff. Oh, <laughs> you are going up a tariff. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, one woman can change the world. So can you. Yes, yes. Patricia says, powerful speech. Honorable Lillian Mutambo. Thank you so much. Uh, Natasha says, I'm so tearful. May God bless you. I'm revived. Revived. My time will come. Yes, your time will come. Never be desperate. We like to move from the money position media. Hash papuyo alumma sales number go America. People were admiring his lifestyle on social media, and the guy was stealing money from people. Others, we don't know what they do at night. You know, I call it wale onfafeta. People they are dealing in drugs. Um, you just hear oh bala bali ifwa. You know, people would be like bala bali ifwa America. Next thing we just say, ah, oh, that person died. What happened? My drugs are already besting a mother. You know, because people want my shortcuts. If you have my shortcuts, you die early. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, Lucky says we're voting in 2021. So when 9th November comes, I will make sure I will be talking about it every day to say, go and register as a voter, go and register as a voter. Show me your... Um, your voters card and uh, that's why i'm here to mobilize on that i want to make sure you or the youths your voice counts your voice counts it matters uh i'm not just a diasporan that has been talking to, 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 to on, on media i am on ground to be part of the procedures of everything because this is our fight and it's our journey in 2021 i love you <laughs>